come from the world of nanotechnology, which manipulates matters on a tiny scale to create useful materials, devices and systems. Hong Kong's Nano and Advanced Materials Institute, or NAMI, has been harnessing the power of the technology to come up with smart city innovations. When we think about smart city, so we always think that smart city requires a lot of innovative products. Nowadays, uh, we think that innovative products require very novel design, advanced manufacturing, and innovative materials and nanotechnology is essential to bring out the unique properties of advanced material, mostly nanomaterial. Among innovations NAMI has developed is a high filtration but lightweight face mask, as well as this flexible battery for use in wearable devices. This is based on a material called nanofiber. Now, this nanofiber can be made into very flexible materials. Uh, you can bend them without impacting its integrities. And this is operational even if you bend it 180 degrees. When you have uh, nanomaterials, for example, like the nanofiber, uh, you can make a very dense, high surface area materials. And if you can fabricate some very sensitive electronic materials, semiconductor, onto this material platform, you can greatly enhance its sensitivity as a sensor. Dr. Lee highlights smart city innovations at the Symposium on Innovation and Technology on the 13th of October during the autumn edition of the Hong Kong Electronics Fair. Representatives from Tesla and Amazon discuss other emerging smart city technologies, while wireless technology is explored by leading players such as Aruba, a Hewlett-Packard enterprise company. It reveals the many opportunities wireless technology brings through the Internet of Things. Aruba um, traditionally is um, very focused on wireless connectivity and that's where um, the next generation Internet of Things devices will be connecting with, uh, especially on the SME um, area. If this SME is a retail kind of uh, customers, then the first thing they need to do is connect uh, things like sensors. Uh, maybe they want to do some analytics on the foot traffic. Besides analytics, I think the, the retailers, um, sometimes they use internal things to, to uh, get an understanding of how the inventory is going. You could think about risk management or predictive maintenance. This actually will drive down to the bottom line of the business and saving costs for the business uh, using the internal things sensors. The SME, how they could prepare first is to get the right infrastructure in place. So um, getting the right connectivity infrastructure in place it will be essential. So getting ready for the next generation of users and when they bring in the IoT devices, they will be ready to connect. What we see is uh, the millennials, um, by 2020, 50% of the workforce is basically these uh, Gen Mobile users. So um, they always have a device with them. So the, the biggest internet of things is basically a cell phone, right? You need to look at how Internet of Things is changing the world right now. We are talking about by 2020, there will be around 26 billion devices connect to the Internet just for Internet of Things. And we estimated about 10% of the Internet traffic by 2020 is actually contributed by these Internet of Things. 